It's Whoa. magic! Oh my god, that was fast. Yeah, it was. The fastest Jeez. build ever. Wow. I'm Paul. I'm Sean. And we're here to share our review on Apocalypse Bird. Yeah. Thanks, Lego, for sending us this set. It's really rad. It's amazing. Uh, it's probably the best Lego set I think I've ever built. Yeah, I agree. With uh, that. I've built Taj Mahal, uh, Eiffel Tower, uh, most of the modulars. Yeah. Um, but there's something that, because of this whole Apocalypse Mad Max feel yeah. to this, um, everything is just so unique and so detailed, and it's just incredible. It comes with so many minifigures. It comes with like 12 minifigures. This comes with Emmett, who's got a double-sided printed face. Lucy has a double-sided printed face. Goggles built into her hairpiece. And a new scarf that fits right into the quiver. Batman in an apocalypse suit. Now this may be my favorite Lego Batman that they've ever made. It looks like he's about to join the KISS army. He's got a unique cape, double-sided printed faces, and these incredible shoulder pads. There's a Suicide Squad version of Harley Quinn. Green Lantern has never looked cooler with his unique cape, Mad Max style shoulder pad. His double-sided printed face makes me think that Jonah Hill is going to reprise his role as Green Lantern. Fuse is the welder. Mohawk looks a little inspired by Furiosa. Larry, the barista. Where's my pants guy? What happens when you have no TV show? How has he had to adapt to survive in these harsh times? Roxy. Scribble Cop. And Chainsaw Dave, who used to be Surfer Dave. He's got tattoos on both arms. So how long does it take us to build this, Sean? I'd say uh, about six hours between like the three of us. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so it's about 18 hours of building fun. Pretty easy. Uh, it comes with this beautiful instruction booklet, which we hacked up into three pieces, yeah. so we were able to divide and conquer. Yeah, yeah. But it was cool. I built the lower half. Uh, James Banks built the other, other half. The other lower half. Yeah, and then you <laughs> click those pieces together. I spent as much time as I could just building the in-between pieces. And and once that came together, I just was able to just click it all together, but it still took some time. There are some like really modular parts of this set which are really cool mm -hmm. because uh, I, I was building a head and then you could just click it right yeah, in. Yeah. Like the way this is designed is I, like, I love it kudos you, to Lego. Yeah, it, it was yeah. so cool. I love that you can have three people working on this. It's definitely possible to have three people working on this. All right, so we got Dave here from the first movie. He's the surfer guy. And he looks like He-Man now, basically. He's, he's turned into a He-Man type character. Uh, and we got a surf shop. We got some surfboards. So yeah, we got Surfer Dave here. He's now like, he now looks like He-Man, basically. Uh, his, his apocalyptic version is Chainsaw Dave, and he looks like He-Man. And we got the surf shop, and we got, uh, we got like a Volkswagen, oops, we got like a Volkswagen just holding up the entire thing. Helmets, you got weapons. So here, in the secret police station, Harley's being questioned. She's being interrogated. Well, they got this little pipe thing over here that you can launch her <laughs> completely out of this police right. station. Oh, there you go, perfect. <laughs> it hit the camera. That's perfect. Did it? Cool. Now Batman can lift. Oh, yeah. How much do you bench, brah? <laughs> Doors open. Larry the barista is serving coffee from gas station pumps. And there is a little rat in the deli. So here we got a little grill going on. And the fun part about this is that it's made out of like a leftover engine. And they're serving up some kind of spear metal hot dog. Delicious. Now the hot tub is made out of like what looks like a leftover car. And this is a rubber ducky, but it's like a frog, which is amazing because that frog comes in yellow now. So next up is Lucy's place. And we'll just lift this little top mm -hmm. off. Look inside her place. All right, so Sean, you were the one who built this one. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, yeah, she's got uh, a little I love this because she's got like little drawings of the, of the character, like Unikitty and Emmett in her window. 
She's got some stuff hidden away here. It's like a, it says like a popular band. <laughs> that was it. And there's like one of Batman in there. Maybe she secretly likes Batman. I don't know. Are they album covers? What are they? No, they're like, uh, they are, uh, it looks like, uh, like picture frames. I don't know. I like the way this looks. And, oh, the barbed wire is great as well. There we go. Here's Fuse. This is, this is his little welding area. So I love the way this is, this bench is built. It's really cool. And then this um, is a new piece too, this like blue gray panel. The Statue of Liberty head opens. Oh, yeah. Stop. Looks like a bedroom in there or something. You can see her in there just a little bit. Yeah, there she is. But this Statue of Liberty build is so beautiful. They have all these kinds of little hair pieces coming off the clips. Things are built upside down, sideways, eyebrows, with little green hot dogs for your eyebrows. It's amazing. Love the off-color green they use to make it look all dirty. Oh yeah, yeah, they really, really awesome. kind of dither that design. Yeah, yeah. Love how they snuck some uh, just gray, just metal in. It's really cool. I love building this thing. This was so, so, so much fun. So great. Yeah, it's such organic fire, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the alpha move. Yeah, then we got a little uh, platform up top. I love the way this fire is built. It's oh, my really, God. Really, just, they just nailed it. Like, it just looks perfect. All right, man. So yeah. uh, what's your final thoughts? Uh, I just think it's, you know, it's worth the money. It's like, it's it's got so much. It's probably got every Lego piece they've ever made. <laughs> You know, it's interesting going through and building this set before we've even seen the movie. Because yeah. like right now, this actually makes me more fired up to see Lego Movie 2. Oh, totally. It definitely gets me more fired up. Yeah, if you're a Lego fan, go out and get this set. You will not regret it. You're going to love be, it. You will not be disappointed. It's this great. is a super fun build. So many different pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, and it wasn't... It wasn't like a difficult build either. No, you, you just it's... hunger down and just, you know, you build mm -hmm. it. And also, you know, the, the minifigures, there's like 12 minifigures in this thing. It's yeah. It's insane. That's an insane amount of minifigures. But... Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Yeah, maybe animations. Who knows? Yeah. You know, in fact, did you see that really killer Spider-Man animation that just came I, out recently? Yeah, I maybe. I've been meaning to check it out. You know. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.